Fiko Ikile, Jeko Jali. All right, my people, this is another one reaching us right now. More trouble for our week on Well, onto this one, a lot of things had been happening in the Yoruba nation agitation terrain. And then, as it stands right now, a lot of people have dragged Awikoko onto the fact that he called Koiki a thief. Hmm. And then, meanwhile, majority of people have been of the opinion that Awikoko is, you know, is an enemy of Chief Sunday Igbowu already. And then, and then this time around, Yoruba Nation agitators, the true Yoruba Nation agitators, have finally dragged Awikoko again for calling koiki media a thief and a lot of things were actually said and then right now one of the agitators have uh, said it categorically that awi koko you are the enemy of chief sunday Igbohu. you are our enemy of the movement and then as it stands right now you don't want this movement to go forward why would you call somebody like koiki who had been known working tirelessly a thief and uh, that is exactly what the people are talking about right now they have said it that nobody should even continue to share this thing around they have tackled them because there are so many fake agitators in the in the building they started sharing it after awikoko had you no know, done this after he had released this um video and the next thing some set of people were now sharing it everywhere and uh, it had been gathered that this set of people that are sharing it everywhere to different platforms are the enemies of chief sunday Igbohu, are the enemy of the movements that awikoko that you have seen or oh, Awi Koko, you are saying that he is working for politicians. That in fact, henceforth, Awi Koko should stop talking about Yoruba Nation. Should leave Yoruba Nation movement alone. We don't want you in Yoruba Nation movement. We don't want you to keep talking about Yoruba Nation movement because you are causing trouble. And uh, that we got that why is it that any time that the Yoruba Nation movement is about to be actualized. That is when somebody like Awi Koko will come out with something that will distract the movement. That anytime somebody like Awi Koko sees that the Yoruba Nation movement is getting you no know, elevated, that he will want to bring it down. That uh, politicians will definitely call him that. Oh, oh yeah, what is the next strategy? To bring these people down what is the next strategy to distract these people what is the next strategy to make sure these people do not get focused and this time around the people are like as far as the movement is concerned uh, we coco we the true yoruba nation agitators we have woken up we have wisened up that there's nothing that you people want to do that will make us get distracted Forward ever, backward never. Leave Koiki. If I thought you are saying Koiki, he is a thief and all that. Leave him. We are not complaining. Provided he has been working tirelessly and then we are seeing his works. What about all the recharge card he has been buying since he has started this movement? Did you pay him for that? Or since that time that you no, know, you said the, he was given some money that he embezzled since that time till now did you see give him any other money yet this young man is still working tirelessly pushing forward for the yoruba nation movement and uh, you that you are talking about the fact that oh he stole something you know, or he stole some money you have not done anything close to what he had done to elevate to push the yoruba nation movement forward the koiki media had done a lot of things and then meanwhile it has also been gathered that even if somebody gets some fund or he eats some fund or he embezzles some fund that's fine it is called for because anywhere you walk is where you shop that's why the oibo people call it workshop so is that not a big deal that we now make you to say you want to distract a yoruba nation movement that is almost set for actualization it's not a small something you know? and then meanwhile onto this one hmm, the true yoruba nation agitators who had been tackled 
clean a we cocoa onto this one i have not been raining a lot of courses on a we cocoa the majority of people do have actually reacted in different forms onto this one well i will be taking some comments that people have actually commented on this matter hmm. leave koiki alone let him focus leave the yoruba nation movement alone let us focus we don't want any distraction are we coco hmm. ara ara yes so and then assistance hmm. they have rained a lot of courses upon are we coco that waiting be your problem <laughs> why is it that any moment any moment you see that uh, your yoruba nation agitation is about to be actualized that is when your so-called politicians will now send you to come and distract that right now we are wise right now we are you no know, on top of the game we can never listen to you then henceforth are we coco stop talking about yoruba nation movement we don't want you anymore leave us alone that you are we coco is the enemy of yoruba nation you are the enemy of sunday Igbo ekpe new power a lot of things were said and meanwhile according to Akitunde Paul on this one it says Olori buruku ni awi konko iran odale ni won iran odale ni won ise won niyan awon eniyan jaku jaku ni won bi won se ma nde na orire omo lomo niyan elenu ibaje ni awi konko ala le ile yoruba yo mu awi koko like be all right and uh, this one had been said by akintunde paul okay according to babalola on this one it says well awi koko has been a traitor right from the onset yes yeah, so he has never been a true yoruba son each time he talks about yoruba nation he is always on the negative side this time around god almighty is going to silence him forever hmm that is serious can you hear that are we coco i think you have to try as much as possible to make your way straight hmm make your way straight tie ba ti ri okunrin ti o nbora o ye ki e mo pe okunrin na ki se eni ti oni lari ni all right <laughs> okay and this one had been said by Ade Invest. Says Tia Batiri or Corin Tiumbora. Oh, ye ki e mokwe or Corin no ki she any tea o ni lari. <laughs> All right, so well, for the benefit of those who do not understand Yoruba, this man is saying that if you see any man that is bleaching, then you should know that that kind of person can never be responsible yes yeah, so <laughs> that is serious well a lot of things do have actually been said onto this one i think awe coco needs to you know make his way straight onto this one because right now a lot of people are like why is it that you are always on the negative side awe coco that anytime you want to talk about your urbanization is the negative aspect is always talking about and that is why you should know that somebody like that can never you know be positive and they can never be a good person that anything such a person says should not be taken seriously because he is a bad man all right my people yoruba nation are going back exactly what the people are still talking about all right what more can we say meanwhile let me have your own take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel all right thanks and god bless